Welcome. You've got mail. You've got pictures. Files done. Goodbye. Welcome back, my followers. I'm your host, Ricky Nose, and this is an episode of Nose Fusa. And we have three boxes here today. Uh, so we have a mail call, or pick up, or drop off, uh, whatever you want to call it. But it's going to contain Marvel, DC, horror, comedy, and magical. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so our box number one. A little background on it. It is a clearance box. Well, not a clearance box. So I go to this uh, Funko dealer here in China, and they have a thing called buy one, get one free. All right, so I decided to get this one pop because uh, I really enjoyed the movie originally. A uh, little background. It was the very first movie I ever saw at the movie theater. All right, and then the free one is one they, are show, they show you a picture of which one you want free, so I picked this one as a free one. Is, is the only one I kind of liked. All right, so let's get into this box. I'm pretty sure this is clearance because most likely box damage to the thing because, but I really wanted the pop, so I decided to get it anyway. So let me know, would you buy a damaged pop just because you want that one Funko or would you keep looking until you find a perfect box? Me personally, I don't really mind damaged boxes that much. Well, I do a little bit, but not that much. All right, so we got a, Little promotional thing for the Loki. Um, bubble wrap. All right, so let's take a look at the one I got. Now, this side, it is bum, 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 Jessica Rabbit Disney, right here. All right, so it isn't a pop protector, but I could tell you there is damage. There's like a crease in the back, all in the back. There's a whole bunch, whole bunch in the back. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's like lots of damage on it, not that much, but mostly towards the back end, the damages. Uh, but for the most part, the rest is not that bad. So, so this is Jessica Rabbit from Who Framed, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, it was the very first movie I ever saw in a movie theater. So, let's take a closer look at Jessica Rabbit. Okay, so here is a closer look at Jessica Rabbit. She does come with a stand, and the stand is kind of beat up. I think this pop was probably used or somebody owned it before and returned it or something. But it is an older pop. Uh, I'm not sure how this microphone is supposed to be. For sure it's not supposed to be stiff or anything. So, so yeah, this is Jessica Rabbit. Like I said, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was my very first movie I ever saw in the movie theater. Uh, let me know down in the comment, what was your first movie you saw at the movie theater? Uh yeah, I like this movie because it's just great how they blended live action with the animation. Um, so, yeah, this is Jessica Rabbit. I'm hoping to find Roger Rabbit, too, to complete the set or get the rest of the set, too, if I can. Uh, like I said, the box was pretty damaged on it, so but that's OK. If I can find another box, maybe I can switch it out or something. But for the most part, just the pop in general is in pretty good condition. So, uh, yeah, so Jessica Rabbit. I can't remember a song she's saying. So, all right. So that was the first pop in the box, uh, Jessica Rabbit. Pretty cool. Um, the next one is second bottom. Uh -huh. and it is Harry Potter, Peter Pettigrew. All right, right there, Pettigrew from Harry Potter. You know, he's the one that was Ron's rat in the movie. I love watching Harry Potter movies. You know, I've watched all of them from beginning to the end at least 10 times. I get bored, I'll just sit and binge watch all of them back to back. So let's take a closer look. Now this box, well, let me take a look. Uh, this box is actually in pretty good condition. But they're probably giving away free because I'm pretty sure Peter, Peter Pettigrew is not really worth that much. But I still like it. And I do want to start a Harry Potter collection. So this is my very first Harry Potter Funko Pop. So let's take a closer look at him. Peter Pettigrew, uh, Ron's rat. Uh, so yeah, and then we got the little moles on him too. Uh, so yeah, so this is him in his tattered clothes. Even his fingernails are sharp. Ow, ow. 
hair, the details to his clothes, the hair, everything. It's really nice and stuff. So, Peter Pettigrew, did you even like the character in Harry Potter? He was like a sniveling guy. Yes, master, yes. It's like Igor, basically. He was Voldemort Igor. And so, so yeah, this is a pretty cool pop. Um, yeah. So let me know, which was your favorite Harry Potter movie of all of them? And who was your favorite character that were the bad guys? Favorite bad guy character. Not good guy, bad guy character. Let me know down in the comment. Who was your favorite bad guy in the Harry Potter movies? All right. Yeah. Peter Pettigrew. Thank you for coming. All right, so those are our first two pops. Uh, Peter Pettigrew from Harry Potter and Jessica Rabbit. Now, the question is, should I actually keep Jessica Rabbit since it's damaged? Let me ask someone. Should I keep her? <laughs> okay, so we will keep her since she begged so nicely. All right, so let's take a look at our second box. All right, so the second box... Let's take a look what's inside. Alright. Now let me know down the comments. Do you like when Funko, Pipe, uh, Funko YouTubers actually open from the box? Or do you prefer the pops just to be straight out and just skip the whole unboxing part? Uh, let me know down the comments. Do you prefer that? Alright, so we have one sorter. Uh, another sorter. <laughs> and nothing else in the box. So let's take a look at this one first. Uh, we'll look at each one of these. And it is in bubble wrap. See, this is how it should be a sort and bubble wrap at the same time. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Come on. Bubble wrap plus a plastic film. And that's how you should pack a Funko Pop. It is ooh, Old Man Steve Amazon exclusive. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people want to get this. That's why I got it. Uh, plus, I, you know, I like Captain America and stuff. So, what do you think about how Steve Rogers is no longer in the whole MCU? Or you think they're going to bring him back a little bit? Because, you know, it's like in comic books. In comic books, Captain America actually died, but then eventually they bring him back. Batman actually died, and they bring him back. There's only a few that will keep that and stuff. So, yeah, so this is our first pop. Old Man Steve from Avengers Endgame. And our next one, now the next one, I kind of know what, I know what it is. Because originally it was supposed to be another pop, but it got damaged on delivery. So they decided to send this one in replacement. Because I picked, well actually I picked this in replacement because the one I actually ordered, they ran out of stock. So they asked, could I, would I pick a different one? So I picked this one because, you know, I like it. And they sent it with the Old Man Steve one. So, yeah, so replacement. If you're damaged on delivery. My guy will actually replace it with the same one, or if they are out of stock, they'll give you a different pop of your choice, as long as it's the same price. All right, it is, so another sorter, which is always great. Uh, another bubble wrap. No plastic film this time. It is Brainiac, a Big Apple exclusive. Right there, Brainiac. All right. I like Brainiac. I like DC comics a lot. I like DC and Marvel, so I'm not very particular. I'm not in one corner, DC or Marvel. I like both of them. Uh, Brainiac, yeah, you know, he's the, what, the supercomputer that originally ran Krypton and stuff, but then he escaped too when it blew up too, so very lot. everybody escaped from Krypton. All right, so let's take a closer look at it. Old Man Steve. All right, so this is him. Uh, so he has a shield, he has his old man clothes, gray hair, nice wrinkles, he's sitting on the bench, and it's actually a whole bench, see? And he's a bobblehead too, so. So what do you think about the whole ending with killing off Tony Stark and making Steve really old? So, you know, they probably won't bring him back. Like I said, they might, you never know, so. So, old man, now my thing is... As old man Steve, is he still able to fight? And is he still strong because of the super serum? And does it make him age a little slower? You know? And then when if he was there, so when Peggy Carter died, was the old man Steve at the funeral with the young man? Oh my god, time travel messes up my head. 
All right, so this is Old Masty. It's a very cool pop, Amazon exclusive. So let me know down in the comment. Do you like the ending that Steve became old at the end? I think it was. It's a perfect ending to his story arc. Him finally getting the girl that he always wanted to dance with and stuff. So let me know down in the comment. What do you thought about it? All right, so here is our Brainiac uh, from the Superman comic books and cartoons. Uh, but they never actually made a movie with him, did they? Well, I guess Superman 2 was kind of Brainiac, I guess, the computer thing, but I'm not sure. So I can't remember. You know, the one that had Richard Pryor in it. But I, why don't, why do, wait, you know what's the problem with Superman movies? They always use the same villains. They always use Lex Luthor, Z General Zod. And so they just, you, and Doomsday lately. They've been using Doomsday a lot lately too, but they use the same villains. Man, Superman has more villains. Wow. Oh, look at that. See that all pink? Huh? Now, I think this, they should have made it glow in the dark on this guy because he's all green. You think it'll glow in the dark? His whole face glow in the dark, and then the little pink things glow in the dark. That'd be cool. And oh, and the pink on his uniform, and oh, just and the white, and just only the black stuff glow in the dark. So, what do you think about Brainiac? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? All green. Don't confuse me for the Hulk because I'm smarter. Oh no, who's smarter, Brainiac or the Hulk? Huh. Let me know down in the comment. What do you think? All right, so we have Old Man Steve, Brainiac, Peter Pettigrew, and Jessica Rabbit. Man, you know what? If you don't have a YouTube channel, it's very tiring. You got to shoot the video, edit the video, make graphics, a uh, whole bunch of stuff, make thumbnails. Oh, I need some inspiration words from my man, Steve. So I keep finishing this video up. All right, Steve, what's your inspirational words? I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can. I could do this all day because that's what it is. Because it's fun making YouTube videos, even if you make no money at all. All right, so let's go to our third box. All right. Now, our third box is well, we, we, see, we already went through Marvel, DC, comedy, and magical. So the last one is horror. So what horror pop could be in here? I don't know. Well, if you take a look at the thumbnail, you can probably tell it's probably from it. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at this. What do we have? What do we have? All right, we have a bubble wrap and a pop protector. It is Georgie from It. And it's the Chase variant with him missing his arm. Now, so this was supposed to be taking place in 1989. Did, I, did they not teach Georgie stranger danger? Especially a damn clown inside the sewer giving you balloons and stuff. Seriously, was, was he just dumb or something? Because he was like, oh, let me get in. Oh, my God, my arm. Seriously, I saw a clown down there. I go, nope, I'm walking the other way. All right, so let's take a closer look at Georgie from the movie It, and it is the Chase Limited with his arm off. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so our next one we're looking at is Georgie. Uh, so yeah, so this is the chaser. So basically he's paler looking in the face and he's missing his arm. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same as the common. He has this yellow, who's your shoddy back here, huh? Yellow raincoat. And you do come with his severed arm and stuff. So yeah, like I said, he grew up in the, you know, nine, what, 89 or something like that? What, 19, yeah, 89, I think when it took place. And you don't remember Stranger Danger, Georgie? Don't go talking to clowns in sewers. Uh, so let me know down in the comment, what did you thought about the It movies, the first two? The two? I like it. I like it a lot because I read the book and then I saw the original TV show version of it. And yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It made it more creepier. Because on TV, you couldn't really make it as scary because it's made for TV. So, so this is our Georgie Chase uh, with the severed arm. Let me know. What do you think? All right. So there we have it. Some new pops for the collection. A little horror, a little Marvel, a little DC, a little magical, and a little comedy. All right. So I usually do this at the end of the video. I don't like really doing it at the beginning of the video because it feels like I'm begging. If you like this video and you made it all the way to the end, 
hit those like buttons. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell for notification when I drop new videos. And if you really, really want to be part of No School Stuff family and want to see more great content of Funko Pops or tech or anything else that you are interested in, hit that subscribe button. Like all the other YouTubers say, it's free. Well, of course it's free. It's YouTube. You, you, know, you don't have to pay for YouTube. Well, unless you do YouTube Premium, then I guess you pay for it. But still, I right, until next time, my followers, be cool.